Not too long ago, I made about an eight minute video as a response to somebody else. And it has gotten one star, I think. Uh, and I don't know why, because nobody's made any comments. The thing is that it is probably, as far as I can tell and be honest about, the most open and honest video about myself and from myself that I have made yet. I was very uh, pleased with it, uh, very proud of it, when I saw how the finished result, because it is an accurate portrayal of a lot of facets of me, a lot of ways that I am. I did them one after the other, the little sketches. They're not really sketches, but the uh, stories that I told about myself and the, the expressions of my feelings, I did them one after the other, but they're different. They're in character. And I guess I have a lot of different facets. And that showed some of them. And you can tell the difference. I could tell the difference. And that was exciting to me to see that. The whole reason I'm saying this in a human trafficking video or video about human trafficking is that this is something I've realized that I want to do. What I said in the video about living my life not as myself, just appearing out of nowhere and, uh, and taking my cues from other people. I really did. I lived in books pretty much. And I was in a book and people would say, okay, Lori, it's time to go to the mall. We're all going to the mall. I would read on the way to the mall. I really was just in a book waiting until I could live as myself, if you know what that means. For instance, I went to college and my parents paid for it. And I'm grateful for that. I really am. I have a college degree and not everybody can say that. But I wanted to take a year off to go into the Peace Corps because I knew I on some level I knew, that I didn't know myself or what I wanted to do, especially what I wanted to do. I didn't understand that I didn't know myself and I was separated from myself, but I knew that I didn't know what I wanted to do at all. And they said, that's okay, get a degree in anything, it'll help you. And that's true. But I don't think they really meant for me to just get a degree in anything and, and have that. I think they thought that I would get in there and see what was available and maybe change my major a couple of times so it would find what I wanted to do and end up in that because most people do that but I didn't I was on their plan I wasn't even thinking for myself or as myself I just did what they said I didn't do it as myself and I haven't done many things in my life as myself I think the most recent thing that I started doing as myself was was in my marriage, was with my husband. I realized that he was the one I wanted. And I did that as myself, our courtship and our marriage and all of that. I did that as me. I was completely there. I wasn't in a book. I was present. And that was very important in my life. And this interest in ending human trafficking, this is me. This is from my heart, and this is something I want to do. And that's important. I may flounder trying to figure out what I want to do or how I need to do it, but it's me. And I've realized that, and that's been an important thing for me. And I may need to go back to school. I may need to take classes and find out who I am at 40. It's not even a midlife crisis. I'll hit that at 70. But I just... Yeah, I'm floundering. What do I want to do? Who am I? But I know what I want to do. I want to end human trafficking. How I want to do that, how I can contribute, I don't know completely yet. But at least I feel like I'm moving in the right direction on that. And I'm happy about that. Oh, one other thing. You may have noticed in some of my videos, not all of my videos, but some of them, I'm wearing rings on my ring finger. And I thought some people may say, oh, that's because she's in denial about her marriage being over, or she just can't let go. She's in denial about losing the man she loves. 
And what it really is, is that I've, I've come to understand that like Susan B. Anthony, I'm going to be married to a cause. And the rings actually are symbolic toward that. I had them. I wouldn't have bought them, but I had them from my previous life. And I thought, they fit. They really do fit, so I'm married now to a cause.